So I'm talking to Jyotiram Pasupalak. And to start with Jyotiram, can you tell me briefly about yourself? Yeah. Hi, Vishwadeep. Uh, nice meeting you again here. And uh, uh, hi, everyone. My name is Jyotiram. Uh, and I work for Sun Microsystems India Private Limited. Uh, and uh, I take care of, I lead a service delivery operation out of India for the Asia Pacific customers. So it is a remote service delivery operation uh, specific to storage uh, support. From that perspective, it is very critical uh, to understand uh, how to manage the operation looking at the data. Uh, data plays a critical role managing the operation. So when I had joined Sun, uh, while well, I was working on operational improvements, uh, I was a part of a couple of uh, Six Sigma initiatives. And uh, through that process, uh, I got an interest to learn Six Sigma. So through my friends, I came to know about Benchmark Six Sigma. And uh, I had enrolled for the Green Belt Certification Program. And the program was so good, and it triggered me to really uh, go through the Six Sigma methodologies, tools, uh, to a uh, larger extent. Uh, Six Sigma I had decided to go through the Black Belt training. And I did the same through Benchmark Six Sigma. And Bishudeep uh, was the trainer for the Green Belt certification. And uh, I was, the training program was so good that uh, I had recommended uh, to get him as the trainer in the Black Belt as well. When I got into the Black Belt training, I understood for, from other participants that most of them had preferred to have Bishudeep to deliver that training. So I really appreciate that training program, the way it has it is being conducted and the way it has been imparted and the way the contents uh, have been developed as well. So I, I had heard about uh, other institutions delivering this training program and a few of my team members had attended that program and uh, I had got the feedback and from assessing uh, all these programs I had I concluded that Six Sigma benchmark is the place to go for and uh, also I have completed my lean uh, program lean management certification through benchmark Six Sigma. Going through these training uh, programs uh, the experiences were really good and I have gained uh, the knowledge how to make use of the tools and technologies uh, uh, related to Six Sigma. And uh, practically I have also started implementing certain tools uh, which was being taught. I realized that I need to be really in touch with the tools and technologies what I have learned. And also I saw small opportunities which I can, where I can make use of these tools for the process improvement. So in that process I have started, I will talk about three specific areas where I have used all these processes. and. Uh, brought in some improvement in the operational matrices. First thing I will talk about uh, the uh, data gathering process. When we do a black belt project, we start with the data gathering. And uh, if someone has gone through this pro uh, program, he must be knowing how to have data integrity or clarity in the data gathering process. So we have to make use of the gaze or a tool to really, uh, really um, establish the repeatability uh, and reproducibility of the data. So the data here plays a critical role. So while I was working on, on my operation, I had found that when someone asked the operations managers to uh, provide their uh, operational performance reporting, we do see lots of gap in the data. So many times we keep on uh, mulling over the data, why data is not same when three different uh, managers are reporting the same data. To, to address that, probably this is the tool I found much more handy to really uh, work on. And through this, using Gage RR study and tools, uh, I could manage to bring in uh, the uh, process improvement, meaning uh, I found the uh, gaps where uh, we, we are doing the mistakes. And even though the so data source was single, but the uh, data was reported by various people, there was a big gap. So to address that, we used this uh, gauge error study, we found the gap and we, we ensured only a single interface and single logic will be used while uh, reporting the data. Even whoever reports the data using this single interface, single data source, single logic 
has given the same data reporting or data time and again so we didn't we don't see any those gap in any of those gaps this has really reduced the burden on the managers really uh, having the data in a consistent fashion to have the right picture it, it is very imperative to have the right size of samples picked for the service so using the tools uh, which were being taught in the black belt I, I could manage to come up with the required number of sample size doing so it kept the right picture and uh, now the confidence interval I have is plus or minus five which looks pretty uh, good in fact and I know we can really do improvement within this area third one uh, what I have utilized so far is the hypothesis testing especially the regression analysis and while working on certain process improvements so I have used this tool to large extent whenever we see issues or feedbacks coming from customer which points to the process change and uh, at that point of time I go back and look at uh, the data and do the hypothesis testing to understand whether the there is a requirement to change the process or not or certain steps in the process or not and that that helps really to justify whether the current process is is the correct process we have or we have to make a drastic change in that so these are the three critical aspects uh, or tools I have used so far and I don't believe that you need to really find a project to uh, use your skills black belt skills. after going through the lean program another thing I have learned that always not do not look for the uh, Six Sigma project probably you can use lean uh, and lean methodologies to really bring in process improvement and cost increment so the bottom line is when you are working in an organization you have to bring in improvement uh, day on day basis month on month basis year on year basis that is the bottom line so whichever is the methodology you use doesn't make any difference as long as you are bringing in uh, cost improvement as well as process improvement so from 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 now onwards so the way ahead is i look for opportunities where i can make use of uh, six months of black belt projects or maybe I can make use of the lean project so I will keep my uh, ears eyes open looking out for opportunities and I will make use of the right tools as and when needed